Breast cancer is a, a heterogeneous disease, but when uh, in 2003, 2004, when we had these genomic tools uh, for the first time, we, we divided breast cancer into four subtypes. The triple negative, or what we call the basal subtype, which is about 15% of breast cancer. And then the HER2, the HER2 amplified type of breast cancer, which is another 12% or 15%. And then the remainder, which is over 70%, of breast cancer are the hormone receptor positive breast cancers, what we call the luminal type. And these cancers on their cell surface have hormone receptors, estrogen and progesterone receptor. And uh, these cells really, in order to survive, must get estrogen in some way. And so our therapy uh, to, to prevent these women from, these tumors from getting estrogen, is to use either a tamoxifen-like drug, which is an estrogen molecule, which goes right onto the surface receptors and blocks them very tightly. And so the cell, in a sense, doesn't get the, quote, fertilizer it needs, it kind of suffocates, and it dies. But it, it takes time to do that. The other method is uh, that once a woman goes into menopause, her ovaries are not making estrogen anymore. The tumor can be kept alive. The cancer cell can be kept alive from a small amount of estrogen coming from the adrenal glands. And so we can prevent uh, secretion of adrenal estrogen by using a drug called an aromatase inhibitor. And there are three of those. That's the other class of hormonal therapy. So 70 plus percent of women uh, have this hormone receptor positive type of breast cancer. And almost all of those women are prescribed in the beginning tamoxifen. We know that of that 70 percent of all breast cancer, probably 60 or 70 percent of those patients, those women, don't really need the drug because they're cured with their original surgery. 